a little surprisingly, the subject of today's Hidden Nature can be found on the Vicars of Bradford plaque at the back of Bradford Cathedral. And that person is William Scoresby, who was Vicar of Bradford Parish Church, as it then was, from 1839. But long before he took holy orders in 1826, William Scoresby was an Arctic explorer and a scientist, and he was the captain of a whaling ship, and he was the son of a master mariner. And his father actually is credited with inventing the barrel crow's nest. So William Scoresby, this plaque can be found at the back of the cathedral, and you will also see a blue plaque commemorating William Scoresby as you enter the north porch of the cathedral. The hidden nature behind the name William Scoresby is considerable. William was born in 1789 near Cropton, not far from Whitby. His father was a successful whaling captain, an Arctic explorer, who was said to have invented the barrel crow's nest, designed to protect sailors from the harsh weather and sea conditions of the north. William Jr. made his first sea trip with his father around the age of 10, initially as a stowaway, later becoming his father's apprentice aboard the whaling ship and his father's chief officer at the age of 17. They made many Arctic voyages together and Scoresby Jr. studied meteorology and the natural history of the polar regions. Upon his father's retirement, he was given command of the whaling ship at the age of 21 and he was a successful whaler for around 30 years. He studied and documented the flora and fauna and the ice and snowflake formations under different weather conditions. His invention of a marine diver enabled him to measure temperature, density and the marine life at different depths of the Arctic waters. He made a detailed study of refraction in the Arctic and the North Sea and surveyed and mapped the east coast of Greenland. He gathered his work together in the two-volume Account of the Arctic Regions, a highly significant work that marks the beginnings of the scientific studies of these regions. On voyages between 1815 and 1822, he made observations and experiments with improvements to the magnetic compass, and in an exhibition of the British Association in 1836, he showed the compass needle of his own invention, which was later taken into use by the Admiralty. After publication of his journal of a voyage to the northern whale fishery, including researches and discoveries on the eastern coast of Greenland, 1823, he was elected as a Fellow of the Royal Society, and his work brought him into contact with many of the leading scientists of his day, including Faraday, Joule and Ampere. Whilst Vicar of Bradford from 1839 to 46, Scoresby was an opponent of child labour, set up schools for the education of the poor and tried to improve conditions for factory workers, although that is a story for another day. After his time as Vicar of Bradford, Scoresby retired due to ill health, but in later years he undertook a voyage to Australia to test the effect of iron ships on the compass and to adjust it, and he became an active member of the British Association for the Advancement of Science. His papers, logbooks, detailed drawings, magnetic instruments and botanical and geological specimens are in Whitby Museum. Mm -hmm.